What is going on YouTube, Fessa family, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for all latest UK media updates and story videos. So we are doing a giveaway to our monthly subscribers, all you got to do to enter is subscribe. So don't forget to push that subscribe button for your chance to win an Xbox One or Playstation 4 this month. This is the story episode 13, in this episode we're going to be doing Fredo, various videos about this guy on my channel, all the controversy, all the stuff he does is entertaining and he's become a very very huge force on the UK rap scene. Who do you guys want to see next? Comment below, I look through all the comments and you guys always decide who I do. A lot of people ask me to do Fredo so we're going to be doing him in this episode. As always we start with the intro and facts, Fredo's real name is Marvin William Bailey, he was born on the 6th of March 1994 making him just age 26. He's from London in England, his genre is British hip hop, trap slash road rap. He's been active from 2016 to this day, his record labels is Since 93 and RCA. His associated acts are Harrow Road Boys, um, he grew up to an English mother slash Moroccan and he spent most of his childhood in West London and Hertfordshire. He attended school and was expelled before his GCSEs and he grew up on an estate surrounded by a lot of gang and violence. He didn't take to rap straight away but when he got into it, it was clear he had a very very good skill because a lot of people were making video after video, Fredo didn't even really try hard, made a couple tracks and bang he was off. Um, Fredo was really talented and I expect to see him being one of the biggest UK rappers we have in the next 5-10 to 10 years. Due to him just literally starting out four years ago and where he's got to today is crazy but let's get into a few other facts about Fredo including his music rise look Ops getting shot out here can't even let the woman get through to their yard in peace man what going on with you man don't come around here and get hit up then got my residence troubling to get into their spot like officer let's start the forensics let's get out shout out my day one nigga Fredo Gang, gang, get rid of it or get lost. Gang, 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 gang. Free everyone. You don't know. The hardest mistake in the world. Get rich or get recalled. You already know who I am. Hasselini, aka Mr. Lamborghini. Yeah? Still out here. Fuck the queen. Still banging burners. Still getting cash. Fredo, you'll tell them. As for Fredo's rise on the music scene, his first proper track to pop off like that was 100. It's now on 25 million views on Link Up TV. Then he would hit him with Trap Spot. Then he would start to change onto Graham Daly, starting with a feature on the Done Talking remix. That tune was cold. With Kojo funds, it went off on 14.6 million views. He would then go jail, spend a little bit of time inside. It's a big job. Real They're really trying to fuck with the kid, you know? You know, when you're, you know when your man who does your insurance has been making money off you? Taking a piss. Ain't even been in the workhouse 24 hours, rude boy. They had me in cells. But you know how we're living. Finna watch your little boys in the hood tonight. Shout out all my boys in the hood. Mmm. Who's telling the feds that man's been discharging handguns five times? The bullets weren't mine, people, don't worry. I ain't even been in this shit for 24 hours. I'm gonna let them know now, bro. Big up everyone fucking me, my supporters. Try to align on me. Niggas are lying on my name. I'll be home real soon, mixtape out this Friday. Then he would come back with a song which he said showed he wasn't a one hit wonder. On 24 million views, like that was the summer tune I was blazing in my car. And then he hit him with Change on 25 million views. Then he would make a feature with notes called YRF on 22 million views. He had more features coming with Asco, which is on 7 million views. A really underrated tune called Praying for Keeps. And um, Dave's, his biggest song. Him and Dave made a track called Funky Friday. That is on 59 million views and hit the charts. And then he would hit a charts again with Mist on So High, which is on 34 million views. I Caramba was another song that went off. That hit 28 million views. Back to back bangers with them three songs, which is crazy. He would then start to drop tunes on his own YouTube channel, which would pop off. Some of the songs were Survival of the Fittest, All I Ever Wanted, Feet Dave, BMT, Big Man Ting, Netflix and Chill, and more recently, Scorpion. Across his YouTube YouTube already has 64 million views and I think it's the direction he takes more so YouTube channels and stuff like that can bring him another income Graham Daly probably will post a few of his videos but I'm sure you will see a lot more on his own channel now
You already know how it goes free, bro. You done know ODB, HRB, all of that pattern gang stuff. You already know free all the G's in the slammer, free Fred. It was last early December. Ask my team who remembers how the smell was horrendous. But on my enemies, I turn the man into just pops in the night spot. Hammer him down. Little battle spin round. Fly the Ferrari around, I'm flying the entire army, you can't see Why my attire's Versace, you can't see Where the lines fly the glass, do you want to see? Your own man, what? life's like Holly Oak. Never let a nigga diss the program. Staring at the toast, I break, don't jam. Me and Fred sliding back to back. They took the list of pallets. I was at it like punching. I jumped out and missed. I was standing right in front of them. All 16 was a Mazza. Malibu house. So much like Saka. Fred, I'm just a clean hearted banger. I smoke, I'll smoke, man. I swear down, I never smoke, man. Back. Mm -mm. Never. Hey. Listen, n niggas keep shooting at the kid and missing him. Twenty died when I slide. I can hear him whispering that was my Zena. Hey. I used to super glue the plates to the. I uh, hear you know. Oh, you mad? Nah, that's 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 literally mad. What? Broski styling. Hey, hey, they said it. You saying your home? <laughs> yeah, it is. Man. You just in Hatton in a pop up. We out, we out by Hatton's. Hatton's getting pattern. Come on, man. Just come out the can straight to the last plot. Hatton's. How you mean? Let me see how we're coming in there. All right. All right. Got the standard one, whatever one's rocking. Then got the yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Set, man. Mm. See the clarity. We ain't right. You see both? Yeah, man. Yeah. See it, shit. Mm. Yeah. 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 See that wrist? That wet shit. Mm. <laughs> That's a lot of money, man. <laughs> no, no flesh. Everybody got the same one. No, you, John, John, you can't do that. I'm on live, bro. Yeah, yeah, walk on. Yeah. No, you, John, John, you can't do that. I'm on live, bro. Yeah, yeah, walk on. Yeah. I ain't say nothing, bro. I woo. I said I was never gonna go on live again after after that, but I can't do that. I got too much real niggas on there. Nah, this chain never cost me 50. 11, 11, 12. I left the big one, I left the 30 one at home. I bro, I'm on live, bro. Don't come too close. <laughs> Don't, bro. I'm on live, bro. I'll rather you just.
Go back in the front room, bro, just in case. Just in case they, they try to do some funny shit. Bro. I, I can't afford to bump into no hater police on the high road today, you know. You know what? I ain't breaking no laws. Let me just strap 50 in. Because that's a crime. You ain't got your belt on 50. Come on, 50, man. Strip locked. Oh, strip locked. Hey, <laughs> mate. Free up my man. Got all my shit back. Make sure you like ain't get a nick for them beatings, you know. Probably gonna take everything from me. Tim Clarity. Yo, Don's got me blocked because I found him. Yo, it's their pin. Kingpin Clary. You're going to see all C Business jewels on there. And they're all fake. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Kingpin Clary. Blood. The youth's got pictures up of the Migos and that like he's getting the Migos jewels. Oh, my God. Kingpin Clary. Yo, this is the Ops jeweler, you know. Kingpin Clary. One sec. One sec. One sec. If anyone wants fake jewels, Go to Kingpin Clarity. He's gonna hook you up with the fakest shit. You feel me? That's crazy. Crazy, isn't it? Kingpin Clarity, you know? How are you gonna call yourself Kingpin Clarity, but you're selling a bunch of fake jewels? Even a bunch of pricks don't wear fake jewels. How much prick rappers are in England and their jewelry is still real? Even they ain't going to Kingpin Clary. Man said Kingpin Clary, you know, and then he wants to block me. Kingpin Clary, why are you going to block me, bro? You're the one making fake jewels, but you want to block me. Kingpin Clary, you know. He just pissed off, man. You know why Gator was pissed off? Because all my stuff's mine, none of this is his. He has to go to the vault to borrow stuff. If you didn't know, you know the jewelers, the jewelers holler at me, like, I swear down, I don't want to chat shit. Like, niggas, them, them, the reason they have to comment on stuff because they go on the internet, they go to the jewelry shop, beg the guy, borrow me something, wear it for two days, and it's gone. And then next thing you know, a footballer's wearing it, or someone else has bought it. That's the truth. That goes for all the other guys. That's why they pissed. You know what I'm saying? So, you can't blame someone that hates me, or that doesn't like me, or envies me, or seems like this guy doesn't give a shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't give a shit about nothing, this dude does what he does. And then people might still mention his name, like, why? Like, if you check out Kingpin Carey, like, this guy, Kingpin, is actually a guy from Kuwait. You do your research in Kuwait. Anyway, that new see business out, pick up. As you can see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the internet's only for the commenters, like, we don't care about that. New C business, uh, if you think, if you think anything I said to you on that live was a lie, check it out, you know what I'm saying, facts. Number two, niggas still wouldn't put out the box and the papers for the watch, because it ain't theirs. Because the jeweler ain't going to give it to you, because it's not yours. So, until you do that, all gay those fans, you don't can fuck off with them, you know what I'm saying, but, <laughs> it's a straight fact. But the new seat business out. Check this shit out. You know what I'm saying? Straight facts.
Ask the jewelers. When you got when the when the vault's back open, you know, go at the vault, say like how comes everything you, you this person has goes on sale? Why is it on sale? Why? I don't even know how to pin it. Pose it, this ain't my world. I'm just a guy that just has an app on the phone sometimes. I use it. Ask the jeweler, why do you sell your stuff after people wear it? Why? But how come the other guys, when they have something, it stays there? Even when it goes old, it's still there. It, maybe someone might get some. This is how niggas move. This is how our family move. You know what I'm saying, bro? Eat our way. When we get stuff, if you like it, you don't like it. If you get something else and no one else, you just give the next person that. No matter what you think of Fredo, you got to respect the fact he's come from the hood and literally nothing being broke at times. Obviously, he found money through the road and stuff, but being with his friends in cars and not really having much to where he is today is an absolutely insane transformation. He will definitely be one of the most successful rappers we have out in the UK because he's caught a buzz in just four years. A lot of rappers put in work for years and years and are nowhere near where he is today. Obviously, his sign has got a big commercial deal, which are going to push him even further, and I think the next couple of years we'll see him absolutely explode. Um, he's starting to burn bridge with like the US and stuff by talking bad on them. He needs to stay more positive and focus on the good stuff. Obviously this quarantine has got a lot of crazy things going on. See Biz Beef kicked off all these things but Fredo needs to focus on his music and come off the road. He still talks about road stuff but he needs to separate the two. If he definitely wants to focus on his music he will be one of the biggest rappers we have. Subscribe to the channel and comment who you want to see next and make sure you like this video to show appreciation on these episodes. I put a lot of effort into finding all the clips for you guys so peace out